Welcome to the Johnny Plays Golf channel and welcome back to the simply stunning Bentham Golf Club in the Yorkshire Dales. What a place. Some sensational holes and even better views, even though it's a bit cloudy. Today I'm going to show you every shot of a three handicap golfers round, but I'm going to talk you through all of my strategies and course management techniques to make it round a course I've never played before. Does that make it harder or easier? Well, I played the front nine already. Spoiler alert, go watch that if you haven't. I'm level par. Let's go make some more birdies and try and shoot under par this back nine. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's go. Well, this is some hole to get things underway. We're into a bit of a gale, mind you. It's been very windy. This par three is 115 playing 105, but straight into wind. So I've got my 120 club. I mean, there's a massive pond, so we don't want to be short. Left of the flag's fine. Oh dear, the wind's hit that hard. Stay short of the bunker. Okay, that's well short, but we are chipping up the green. So I'm actually okay with it. It's not a great shot, but it's certainly not a bad one. Could have been disastrous. Now, I don't know if I mentioned just then, but they were redoing the tee box. There was all kinds of excavations going on. They might have been looking for dinosaurs. Who knows? Certainly not me. That's why we're off a mat. Anyway, back to this 10th hole. I mean, I've come up well short, but it's so difficult into that wind. But I've got a very straight and uphill chip into the wind. So this is where you need to get very aggressive. Normally, I'd suggest getting this on the ground running as soon as you can, like a putt. But I just haven't had the greatest touch with the wedges, so I've gone for my comfortable wedge, which is the 52. Land this about halfway, I think. Oh my god, go in. Oh baby. Go! <laughs> it's literally poking its head over the lip like this. Oh, that was miles better than I'd hoped to achieve from there. And after that tee shot, a good par. Conditions are difficult with that wind. It really does wreak havoc with your shot selection. Well, that's about as stress-free tappings as you can possibly get. Take a par there, even though it's a short hole. Let's go to 11, see what that brings us. That felt really good. But we need to move on swiftly, and you have the benefit of a nice flyover view. I, however, see very little. Uh, it's like 260 to run out of fairway and then the hole goes drastically to the left. And I just can't see where I'm going, especially because my hoodie keeps blowing into my face. So I'm going to hit a hybrid just left of the marker post and pray for the best. One of the things you have to consider when you've never played a course is a blind tee shot. Well, that's exactly where I was aiming, so I can't really do much more. Let's hope that's good. Right, well, actually, all my dreams have come true. That, that might be overstating it slightly. But I'm in the dead centre of the fairway, and I'm far enough back from these trees to get over them. And the wind's howling from left to right, although it doesn't really seem it from here. So let's try and stick this on the green and give ourselves a birdie put, because this is quite a tough hole. Not really anywhere to miss by the looks of things, so we'll see. Right, I've zapped it at 133, but it's 143 playing down. Absolutely no way I want to go short. Aiming just left of it to counteract that wind, and it's a slightly awkward stance. Well, that's as pure as I can strike a nine. It's just right of it. Oh, wow. Um just short. I'm glad I struck it well otherwise we could have been in real bother. That's all right there though. Okay so a good thing to note is the result probably wasn't quite what I anticipated or hoped for but the execution was exactly what I expected just sometimes it doesn't quite work out how you think. Nice little doggy in the bushes. Now I've opted for the eight iron here rather than maybe putting it because there's quite a bit of fringe to go over. And all that's going to do is pop it over the fringe, onto the green, get it rolling like a putt. Well, I'm definitely not chipping in with that stroke. It's not something I do too often, actually, and it really showed there. 
I've got my line, commit to it and just hit a positive put up the hill here. Straight in the heart. Lovely. Terrible chip, but a good put in the end. No pictures on the scorecard, I say that all the time, but it doesn't matter how it looks. And we move to 12, level par for the back nine and level par in total. Oh, I love playing golf, especially in places like this. So many nice views. Got the three peaks in the background, albeit covered by cloud. And I've got the big dog here. Wouldn't always advise it, it's only 311 yards into wind. So you could play this much differently with, you know, like a four iron or a hybrid into the, the wide part of the fairway, but I can see the flag. I can't reach. However, I don't subscribe to the hole. Let's lay up to 100 yards. That's a good yardage for my wedge. I want to get as close as possible. Give myself a chance to chip it close, regardless of whether that's 40, 50, 60 yards. That's as good as I can hit a golf ball. Just faded slightly onto that tree, but that's not going to be a million miles off, and I am ecstatic with that. And I found my tee, that's always a bonus. Like I sort of just mentioned there, I'm sort of of the mindset that if I'm going to hit a bad tee shot, it doesn't matter if I've got a seven iron, a four iron, or a driver. I'm very, very confident with my driver. It's one of my favorite clubs to hit off the tee, obviously, especially. So if I've got a chance, I'm always going to hit that unless there's literally no reason to do so, like water, trees, etc. So you don't have to do that. Of course you don't. It's up to you entirely. If you don't feel comfortable and you want to hit a long iron, give yourself a chip on, then by all means, do that. Brilliant. Fairway found. Now, had I known that that flag was on the right side of the green, I've got a lot of room to the left there, so I could have gone 30 yards left and had maybe a slightly better angle. But it's 55 yards, so the door is ajar here, and I'm into the wind, so I'm going to try and play this about 52. I mean, I didn't carry that nearly far enough, but I've got a very, very friendly bounce, which has kicked it forward. And now it's a birdie putt. Not the best executed shot, but a bit of luck goes a long way in this game. Now, actually, I'd have liked my chip to have landed where it's actually laid to rest here. God, that sounds morbid. Most of my game is in good form. My chipping's not been fantastic, but my putting's been very good, so maybe I can get myself out of trouble. And quite honestly, if I hit 18 greens in regulation, I'm going to play a good round of golf. Interestingly, that didn't turn at all. I mean, it wasn't my best putt, let's be honest. But it's a stress-free par. And if you have watched any of my previous videos, I will never be upset with a stress-free par. And nor should you. I'll tell you what, I'm really enjoying this. It just got a bit dull all of a sudden, but there's also a holiday park here. It's all like intertwined. So there's great facilities. And now we move to 13, all the trouble is left, but it's downwind off the left. And like I said, you could quite easily just hit a hybrid or a long iron and there's no trouble right, there's just another fairway. But I just don't have that in the locker, I'm going for it. I'm aiming at the bunker that you can probably see better than I can. And if I can just hit a little draw off that, then we're laughing. Wow, I've hit that well, but that is very dangerously left. Luckily, the red stakes, so I can take a drop up there. It'll have carried all the way over. Dangerous, but if you don't take a risk, you don't get the reward. Now, I really appreciate you stopping by to watch these sort of videos, and if you are enjoying them, where you can learn a little bit about strategy on the golf course of a reasonably decent golfer, sometimes anyway, please consider subscribing to the channel because it really does help me out. We've just achieved 1,000 subscribers, so that was a really nice landmark. So let's push for 5K. And with your support, it's certainly possible, so thank you. Well, unfortunately, my worst fears have been realized. It's a red stake. 
so I've taken a drop fortunately I've got a very decent or makeable opportunity to get up and down for par at the very worst I suppose that's my best option unless I can do something magical that looks nice that's a great shot finally finding my hands after 13 holes but that's lovely I can make that and skip off here somehow with a par never any doubt let's go ladies and gents it's a tremendous par if i do say so myself not warranted after the tee shot but i don't care well a feel good factor is at an all time high because i didn't really expect to make par there after that tee shot so chuffed to bits and now we have a par five which is nice it's not a long one at 470 but we're into the wind off the left all the trouble is left so the wind should stop that being a factor but i'm trying to take it out of play by aiming towards the middle of the fairway and if i miss it right that doesn't matter that was not my best swing but i think it's safe i was aiming a long way left of that it's fine it's short of those trees but i suspect it may be a layup from there it's so wide open left the pin is just left of these trees as you look at it i mean they're not in play for me at all i've got 202 playing 215 i don't think my hybrid's going to get there but i can't hit three wood from here because the lie is very unusual so i'm just going to lash this 30 yards left try and keep it left of that pin and open up the green for my third it won't be far off though if i get good contact that's the key here a lot well maybe 70 percent of my weight is on my left foot here to stop me falling backwards that's worked out brilliantly i mean i'd have liked it to go left to right a bit on the wind but to strike that well where i was aiming is really really good so so we were down by those trees on the left and walked up from where you can see the bunkers so i'm tired but this has worked out nicely. My tactical guesswork has paid off. Probably got the best chance of getting close from here. It's like 40 yards. Wind's gonna push it left to right so I can aim at the fat of the green. And if it drifts, bueno. Aiming 10 feet left, maybe a little more. Drift. Well, it landed just on the fringe. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Like nine or 10 feet for birdie. Okay, it was a tiny exaggeration. It's more like 13 or 14 feet, but it's very makeable. I think tempering expectations is a good thing here. because I think people get upset if they don't make these, but the tall make percentage is not that high, probably like one in four. Maybe one in five or one in six, maybe. <laughs> that never had a chance. That was a complete and utter misread. It only turned very slightly. All right, a five. I'm not disappointed again with a par. It's very windy, that makes things very difficult. Just another factor to consider. Well, this is a sneaky looking hole. There's trouble left and right. So, I managed to find a broken tee. I've never seen one like this before. I'm teeing it up on the right hand side and that's just gonna complete and utterly take the right hand side out of my eye line, out of my thinking. And I've teed it low and I'm just gonna hit a low bullet with the driver. It tends to take a bit of the worry out of getting it in the air because the wind's into off the left so i'm aiming at the left edge of the fairway trying to just hit a straight ball it's a tiny push it's heading towards the trouble it's taken a very soft bounce yeah that's absolutely fine just about achieved what i'd hoped for there i was panicking slightly I think a really good thing to think about when you're playing golf is even the best laid plans can go awry sometimes. 
it doesn't matter what I say on the tee, if I don't execute the shot that I wanted, then we're going to be in trouble. And to be fair, if there was no wind on this hole, pushing my ball from left to right, that would have been a great tee shot. So sometimes, even the best laid plans don't work. It's also very difficult to judge the wind, so it's quite strong today. So that adds an extra level of complexity to everything that you do. So don't be too hard on yourselves. <laughs> I'm a yard away from disaster, but it's perfect now. 85 middle into the wind, so that is a perfect sandwich. Don't want to come up short here, that's for sure. Oh, that's gotten so high, please go. Oh, it did, just. Um, definitely could have been worse, so every cloud, and there's a lot of them today. This is another one that with a bit of hindsight and knowledge, I would have aimed a bit further left because everything would have fed down, but I'm actually at the bottom of a slope here. That's all right. Pin high, as Peter Finch would say, sign of a quality ball striker. Okay, good weight. Just pushed it a bit. It might have even moved a tad left to right, which I definitely didn't see. It's actually getting quite difficult to pick up in this dusky light. But again, solid par, and I'm all about those. Three holes to go then, and I'd dearly love to get under par. Although this is a toughie. There's a ditch at 250, so this is something I really enjoy doing. So I'm literally just going to chip a driver and I'm aiming for like 220 when my driver's usually 270. So I teed it normally and I'm literally just going to hit a long pitch shot. That was a bit of an iffy strike, I need a bounce left. Which I've got, I mean I had an absolutely enormous fairway to aim at, I just didn't think I'd hit a slice there, but that's okay. I'll take it, it stayed in play, that was the plan all along. Naughty me, I made a big divot. Yeah, right is an absolute no-no here. It started raining and I don't want it soaked. So I'm aiming 15 feet left. It's just a nice sand wedge somewhere near the front and just let it release a bit. I pulled it a tad, but it was a nice strike. Landed exactly where I'd planned. Sometimes you love it when a plan just comes together. Well, I definitely didn't come prepared for this. However, it's not going to stop me. Quite a long putt for birdie, but it's downwind and downhill again. So just got to get the pace right. It's going to go left to right. So that. Wow, that's severely under red and I wouldn't have minded a tap in but I have definitely not got that I don't think I've missed one of these today so hopefully just a formality it's a great way to think and yet again just snuck it in the left side but another par come on two holes to go one more birdie possibly Okay, two holes to go then, and we have a short par three or shortish. One, five, three, it's playing to the middle, but it's downwind off the left again. Pins over on the left, so I don't mind missing it slightly right of that. I'm just going to chip a nine iron. I don't think a wedge will get to the front here, so this is the percentage play for me. I'm aiming at the flag, and if it drifts on the wind, I'm okay with it. on a good line I feel like it needs to sit no it doesn't that's landed almost exactly where I wanted actually taking a bit of a soft bounce which when it came in low I thought might have helped it just bounce forward but I think I'm putting and I'm okay with that for sure well I was hoping for a little bit more of a skip forward but this is still good it's a green in reg never unhappy with that and level power in this wind is very very nice indeed However, not thinking about that, would like to hold this. Oh dear. Thought I'd given that plenty downwind, but it seemed to have forgotten it was uphill. Not to worry. 
Yes! Tappings would be lovely, but where's the fun in that? It's another three, last hole, can we make a bird? I like it. Right, that's a nice looking hole, but there's OB right. Fortunately, the wind's down off the left, or down off the right, sorry. So aiming at the right centre, don't worry about the OB and just smash one. Oh dear, that's a bit left of where I wanted. Not sure what's happened to that, it's a bit difficult to see, but it might be in the trees. Well, who wouldn't want a bit of drama to finish? I've only got 100 yards, maybe a bit less, but I've got all kinds of tree issues. So I've got an eight iron, I'm just going to try and chip this up through the fairway and try and roll it onto the front. There is a bit of a backstop if I can get it left of the flag, but that's not looking too likely. A putt here is an amazing achievement. Oh, it's a little firm, or is it? Oh yeah, way, uh, way over the back. Come back down. Well, I didn't know that was there, but that's worked to treat. I think I've just rolled off the back fringe, but surely we can make a two putt from there. Come on, Johnny. Well, that flirted with disaster, but I got away with it. And I want greatness, so a chip in here would be amazing, but you could put it. But this is more fun if it goes in. Go left now. Ah, just a bit of a misread. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Get yourself to Bentham. Great views, lovely golf course. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Goodbye. <laughs> Glad that went in.